Today, I want to share with you part two of the Good and the Beautiful unit study that I got for our seventh grade science. Hi, homeschoolers. I don't know where you are, but I know summer is definitely here. I hope you're having a great summer, staying cool, hopefully, if you're in a hot part of the world. If you're not, well, I hope you just enjoy those cooler temperatures because we are definitely in the heat where I'm at. But today I want to share with you part two of the Good and the Beautiful unit study that I got for our seventh grade science. This is health in the human mind. I love a lot of things health and science related, so I really want my son to kind of understand more about the human body, the human mind, just health in general, why it's good to have good hygiene, and just how our body works. I am really passionate about health, the mind, and the heart, and just the body, and everything everything connected. And so I really want my son to have some education on that as well. And I really felt like this was a good way to kind of break him in without it being overwhelming. Um, it's a small unit study book, so there's not tons of overwhelming reading. The Good and the Beautiful really makes it easier for you to kind of take in this information and it not be too much at your level. This is third through eighth grade, so I will tell you that it definitely is good for groups. Again, I only have one child. So this is a little bit different for me. There's not going to be as much involvement um, and even some of the activities we may or may not do. I'm not going to make them a focus, but he is a good reader. There was a lot of content in here that I felt like he would find interesting and be able to relate to. And that was my goal in getting this unit study for our science for seventh grade. Now I'm going to let you take a look inside this book in a minute, but I did want to share with you that along with the great book here there also is the student journal which basically is where obviously the children will write in a lot of the interactive parts from the book. I'm not going to show the look inside for this but it talks about different things from the beginning and it correlates with the book. So here it talks about babies and different reflexes the frontal lobe, the brain, the different parts of the brain structure. So it's not just a here fill in the blank type of book. There is interactive parts here. There are parts for extra notes. I do highly recommend getting the student journals with the unit studies. You can buy them as a set. They're I think a little cheaper that way um, because there are some really valuable extra teaching parts in the student journal itself. So there's just a lot of different things. Again, some things are a little easier. So this is for seventh and eighth grade. There's probably still some things in here that my son would not be interested in, but I really like how it breaks down stuff here and in the book. So you're getting really good quality here. So we're gonna take a look quick inside this and see what you think. Again, this breaks down the supplies you'll need, the vocabulary, it goes over the human mind and nervous system, the brain, eyes and vision, ears and hearing, mouth and taste, smell and nose, the brainstem, memory and emotions, social health, emotional health, connecting with nature, and healthy habits. Something I forgot to mention, which was this book right here. This is an extra added book that I actually got. As it says, it's on the website so you can check it out. It's linked as an optional reading with this book. But I got this and I think for the older children, I think this is very, very valuable. So I highly suggest looking into getting this. It's really not that expensive um, and you can always pass it along to someone else or resell it, whatever works for you. But I highly suggest looking at, into this this book. Um, here's your supplies. Here's your vocabulary. So we have already done a little bit of nervous system study for master books. Um, you can look at that link listed above. Um, that was master books, basically more of an elementary anatomy book, which I really thought was a really good basic start um, because this kind of goes into some of that, kind of reiterates, but it's a little bit different, different approach. I think this has some details that the other curriculum didn't. 
I liked that other curriculum as well from Masterbooks as an elementary anatomy. I felt like it was really good. Covered some of the same things, so it's not completely unknown. I do feel like this is a great option for, again, you have children in different grades. This is a good way to cover a lot of information with multiple kids at a time. One thing I like about this is it does touch a lot on the emotions and the mind, memory, mental, mental awareness, mental health, which I think is something that's ignored. And I think it's good just to stay in tune with your children as to how they are doing in their mind, in their heart, their emotions, and their social interactions with people. How are they feeling? It's just a good opportunity to tie in how your child feels and to really listen to them. And maybe some of this will even help them explain in a better way how are they feeling and how their senses take in information and how they process it. Connecting with nature, because nature really makes us all feel a little bit better, right? Healthy habits, it's a good opportunity to talk about some nutrition. All right, that's it for that book. I do want to say this is again not a review. This is a look inside because I have not used this before. There is a additional book that is supposed to be used with this book if you want to purchase it. It's only in PDF form. It goes in a little deeper into more mature audience type topics. So it would definitely be something that would be for potentially your sixth, seventh, and eighth grader. Look at that on their website. You can see it right here when you look at this one. It's kind of a suggested reading, a suggested add-on um, from a really, really good perspective. I've looked through it, the PDF. It is really, really well done, tastefully respectfully done as well and it might be easier for you to go through it with your older kids and kind of get them an understanding of their body and physical changes and things like that. Just note that, that they do offer that. It'll be with this link below. Make sure you look that up and see if that's something that you want to add on when you go to purchase this. Well, I would be interested to know what you all think about this book. Leave me a comment and let me know. Again, everyone's coming from different walks of life. Everyone's has different homeschool journeys. Let me know if you've used this before and if you like it or if your child really wasn't that in interested in it. It's okay if they're not. Um, there's always tons of other curriculum options out there. Don't give up hope if you haven't found the right one yet. Keep searching. I think that we all kind of have to help each other out when we know something. It's so nice to hear someone else's opinion and what they've gone through. And again, it's just to make a more customized journey for you and your homeschoolers. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like and click that bell. And if you are on Instagram, make sure you like me on there. That way you can also see when I post my videos. Keep enjoying the summer sunshine. Hope you have it where you are because we definitely are. So I'm going to go outside and enjoy the sunshine and make sure that I shine bright. Make sure that you do too.